Come with me on the first part of my Thailand trip to Phuket. We decided to fly Qatar Airlines, honestly, just because it was the most affordable when we were booking our ticket, but the sun was setting while we took off, which made the sky look absolutely beautiful, especially when we were up in the sky and could see the Chicago skyline. But once we were a certain amount of time into the flight, we just started to lose our minds. How do you think the dessert is? There's something inside. Doha, but I was honestly a corpse at that point, so I did not vlog any of it. Fast forward to us landing in Thailand, we landed in Bangkok first, and then we flew to Chiang Mai, and it was a pretty short flight, only like an hour and a half or so. And this is what the villa looked like when we got there. Oh my gosh, I actually could not believe I was seeing this view with my own eyes, and it wasn't Photoshop. And the best part was that they had dinner ready for us, so we chowed down. Speaking of the villa, oh my god, it was amazing. This was the view that I had from my room. It seriously felt like I was waking up in paradise. We were basically right on the beach, which was so nice for the views and also for the activities. I'll give a full villa tour at the end of this video, but this is our outdoor pool area, which was so nice. And I was ready to start my first day. The villa that we stayed at came with our own personal chefs, which was so nice because we had all of our meals cooked for us. There were also on-site personnel that were there to help if we had any problems, like if something in the villa was broken, we had questions about the area, or even if we needed something from the store. Oh, and this was the view from the dining table. We're going to the beach. Look at the look at this view. Look. Oh, oh my god. We have this whole area to ourselves. This whole villa. This whole villa is Private ours. Villa life. And we'll do a villa tour. Oh, oh we're getting massages oh. later. Luckily, the walk to the beach was five minutes. What? Whoa! <laughs> oh my gosh! The beach was so freaking beautiful. You know we had to use it as a backdrop for our Instagram pictures. So you should go follow my Instagram, please. Please follow it. I'm begging you. So we're here at the beach. Look at look at these views. Look at these views. Oh, bless you. We were just discussing how that island over there looks like the Turtle Island from Avatar The Last Airbender. Tell me it doesn't. We can't remember its name though, so. It's like a, a lion turtle. It's so freaking hot out, like unbelievably hot, but the water is so warm. We were swimming in there earlier. Lauren was like actually swimming. I like went in and I was like, um, I will return to this. I'm scared. I'm scared of the ocean. I'm scared that a wave is gonna come and smack the but shit out of me and then I like far roll. Are, it's like really shallow all the way out there. Yeah. So it's like you can't really even drown because you could stand. I just feel like when I was a kid, the waves used to always like smack the shit out of me and then I would be like rolling well, underwater. Like, and you're like three okay, feet I'm tall. I'm still scared of that though. Like genuinely, I feel you have like. You to get over the fear because I used to think that too because I used to hate the beach when I was younger. Uh -huh. And then when I went again when I was older, I was like, oh, this is nice. Okay, yeah. I need to let go of my childhood fears. We're having a spiritual journey on this trip again. What's happening? <laughs> I was just saying when I was a kid I was very afraid of the ocean and even still I feel like I'm so hesitant to go into the water but we're conquering our fears on this trip <laughs> I'll, I'll do at this I'll, I'll just cut to a video of me being in the ocean boom I am in the ocean and I did actually go all the way in but of course we had to put our phones away so they didn't get freaking wet look here's the evidence my hair is freaking wet but we went to this restaurant that was right on the beach and all of us got drinks of course and this was the mango sticky rice that I got which was so good and I had actually never had mango sticky rice before the table that we sat at was on the second floor so we got a really good view of the beach and of course we did get food as well then when we got home, the masseuses were actually there waiting for us to give the massage and I had never gotten a Thai massage before. At least I thought I did, but it was not like this. They were stretching and contorting my body in all different kinds of ways, but honestly, it felt good. And then it was time for us to eat dinner and oh my gosh, this rice that they made was so freaking good. I need you guys to look at how pretty the view from our villa is. Look at this. Photo sesh, we're taking content for you guys. So you guys, go, it on the go, yeah, go like my Instagram pictures. Me too. Hey vlog. It's time. It is my vacation, so yeah, I'm gonna have a little fun. All right, so he poured this whole bottle of soju seven, into this cup, and he's gonna hundred? chug it. I'd say eight, let's go eight, eight and a half. Come here. I'm eating eight. For, 
every second under, I'll give you an extra five bucks. <laughs> okay, we have a timer. So, yeah. $5 bet, it could be shit. Come on. The double phone. I'm gonna start it once it hits your leg. Yeah, alright. Six seconds. Damn it. Six fifteen. That's actually not bad. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> then things started to get a little goofy. That's why you're trying to clap with your Whoa! Come on, come on. Um, okay, so we're at the Thailand Asian Invasion Content House swimming lessons. As you can see right here, we have one of our tutors with one of our students. Something's funny about their lesson, I guess. I don't know what it is, but they're working very hard. <laughs> Come sign up for free lessons. <laughs> Say hi for Kaylee's vlog. Did you hear my idea? Go on. We're going to all go swim from one side of the pool to the other side of the pool, and we're going to time everyone. No one gets to know their time until everyone's finished. Oh, I have to, I have to time it then. And then we have a ranking. Okay, I'll time it. From fastest swimmer to slowest swimmer. There we go. Swim you'd like, but you can't touch the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then I woke up and filmed an ASMR video for you guys, but then it started pouring and I decided to just embrace it. While I was busy with that, everyone went down to the beach a little earlier than me and Lauren and Cammie took some surf lessons, which looked like a lot of fun, but also really hard. Look how in sync they are in this video though, I loved it. Kinda wish I did it, but I'm also a weenie. When I finally did get to the beach, it was raining so hard, but we decided to just wait it out and get some food and drinks in the meantime. So we wanted to come to the beach to jet ski and surf and paraglide and now it's pouring rain. It's it was so wet. I we just walked to this restaurant, so freaking wet. So now I think that we're just gonna get food and drinks and and vibe. So not me stepping away from the table to film my vlog. I don't remember what drink that I got, but based off my reaction, it wasn't good. We did make a new friend though at the restaurant, this cute little bee. At first we were scared of him, but then we realized that he was just a freaking addict to this sauce, like slurping that shiz up. Once the rain cleared up, we began our mission. We are currently on a mission to look for some jet skis. The water's looking a little questionable, so is the weather, so we don't know if we're gonna find them, but let's find out. We're on a mission. <laughs> Getting swept out the <laughs> The mission was successful and we did find some jet skis and this footage was thanks to Rena, my assistant vlogger at this point. All right, here we go. <laughs> We're about to go there to a weed cafe. In yeah, we, we found a weed cafe. Oh. Okay. Just bought this new hat. Bought a bunch of things. Clothes, some, you know, some crocheting for the beach. And now we're gonna go to the weed bar over there. But first we we're getting. Bar. But first we're getting a uh, cash for for Matt. We need money. We need money, we need money for Matt. Hey guys, we are currently in Thailand, Phuket, Thailand. Fuck it, fuck it, Thailand. Fuck it. We are going to try out this this weed bar here. I will have the actual destination and everything in the description of this video. But yeah, I was actually surprised to learn that weed was legal in Thailand. I don't know why I was surprised. I feel like other Asian countries that I've been to are like very conservative when it comes to a lot of that stuff. But we saw a weed cafe. We just decided we had to try it. So we picked out our strain. Here, let me show you guys all the strains that they have. They have blueberry cheese and they have like all these different descriptors so you can kind of see what the makeup of each one is. I think we're gonna do this one. This golden lemon haze. I mean, I'm a sativa girly, it's mostly sativa, and I liked the effect that it was listing. Active, energy, powerful. Um, so let's see what this is like. Um, we're just waiting for someone to roll for us. Cause we don't. Cause neither of us can roll a joint. I can kind of roll a joint, but I'm just like, okay, if there's someone 
that could yeah. do it for us better. Let's let's go with that option. Princess treatment. It's the princess treatment. So waiting for that. We'll get back to you on that one. That night we went to a super bougie restaurant called Three Monkeys and it was gorgeous inside. Well, I guess technically outside because we were on the roof, but they had this giant tree in the center that made it feel so nature. Um, I forgot to vlog us absolutely obliterating this meal. Oh no. Look at these cute little drink glasses they gave us though. We were, we were gonna build a village, a three-man village. Don't know how that's gonna go over. Couldn't get an espresso martini. About to do a shot of vodka and chase it with an espresso shot, so. Let you know how it goes. Yeah, this was definitely one of my worst ideas, especially because I don't even really like the taste of coffee. Oh, there's the gag from the vodka. So the vodka and then the espresso was so nasty. I actually had to grab my water and freaking chug it afterwards just to try and get the taste out of my mouth. The, the espresso was worse than the shot. Oh my God. It's not good. What I recommend. What I recommend. I'm gonna stick with the espresso martini. And then I was drunk after one singular shot because my tolerance is so freaking low now. Then we had this coffee called Kapi Luwak, or also known as Civet Coffee. It's a coffee that consists of partially digested coffee cherries which have been eaten and defecated by the Asian palm civet. The cherries are fermented as they pass through the civet's intestines and after being defecated with other fecal matter, they are collected. The coffee is from Indonesia and despite the really weird, I don't know, creation of it, it honestly didn't even taste that bad. Last day on the beach and it's very cloudy and he's so sunburnt like a lobster. I got this hat yesterday. This little bow. Crab. Yeah. Where? They're all over here. They're all white. They're up here. Oh gosh. Crabs. I befriended a crab yesterday. He was very cool. Very cute. Just floating in the ocean, you know? This ocean. Right here. <laughs> Alright, we're attempting to go look for some jet skis some paragliding. I don't know. We're trying to do something adventurous. It's our last beach day, so we really got to make the most of it. I guess let's see how that goes. So um, we found a paragliding spot and we're going to go paragliding. I mean, they're already going, but it's crazy. They just got dudes going up there with him. No safety precaution, nothing attaching him to them like he's just in the strings of the parachute i don't know if i can even explain how crazy it was that this man was just hanging from the strings like this like you would run to take off he would run behind you and pull himself up with you and then just hang in the strings back there pulling and tugging them to kind of you know steer i don't know like when you're coming down he's like freaking hanging off of them i don't even know how this is allowed how was it it was so fucking crazy oh, oh, so bro fun. that's Luckily, we were only up in the air for like five minutes. I don't even know. The boat just basically drove in one big circle and then we were headed back. That was crazy. I'm not gonna lie, I could not look down. I looked down at the star and I was like, Boop! and I just, I was like, okay, I'm gonna enjoy the scenery now. Right? Around. <laughs> And right as we were finishing, it started raining out. Like it was sprinkling earlier, but it started to storm and the ocean started to look scary. So we figured we might as well go home. We're having a seafood party tonight. Um, barbecue vibe. Look, there's the evidence of the barbecue. The people in the villa were so nice and cooked us a whole seafood barbecue that was so freaking good and had so much different stuff. I mean, look at how huge the freaking oysters were. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little too intimidated and so was Matt. He couldn't even eat it. Uh, you guys just missed the fireworks, but there were some there. Right there. Think of the same though. The next morning we woke up super early to go to the airport and head to Chiang Mai. That is gonna be part two of my Thailand vlog, so definitely subscribe to my channel in order to check that out. The rest of this video is gonna be just the villa tour, so feel free to stay tuned if you wanna see the gorgeous place that we stayed at, and I will be linking it in the description below.
Thank you.